paperwork come the wrong lady? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. Hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Here we go again. Okay, there's got to be something in here about Lily Meyer's death. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm. Looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. I don't want to show her that. Do you know anything about this story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember their names? Mm, let me think. I'm awfully sorry, dear. I just can't recall. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness. I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. I don't think we need to discuss that anymore since I've been able to open the briefcase. Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent-minded at times. 
times, it helped him remember things. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Found an address. Damn, no Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Nah, nothing like that in here. I got her family's address already. All right, got it. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? I don't need to ask her about that. I don't need to ask her about that. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know, the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh, must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah, I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah, could be worth a shot. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. I'll write down clues in this as I find them. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Do you know the Myers family? Supposed to live somewhere near the lake? Aren't they the ones whose daughter drowned a long time ago? Yeah, that's right. Might recognize them if I saw them, but that's about it. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Well, gotta go. See ya. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. 
Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Thick, dense forest. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? I can see someone moving inside. I don't want to burn that. Yes? Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Just go away. She looks pretty annoyed with me. I deserve a few moments of your time. What you deserve is a slap in the face. Won't you ever give up? I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me! Just go away. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. Just go away. That combination makes no sense. You again. I don't want to show her that. I should try to get her on my side first. Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Coralie Cinders. Extra long. You got taste. I'll give you that. I suppose one smoke can't hurt. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... Oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> you know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. Now, this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Nice view of the lake from here. It's Nathan, Sue's mentally disabled son. Nice painting. It's signed L. So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him, and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. 
He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. No reason to show her that. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. No reason to show her that. No reason to show her that. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. I don't need to ask her about that. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up, and well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. I don't need to ask her about that. What do you do to support the two of you? A little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say 
He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her, started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him. Aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. So, Charles Wade was the one who bought those paintings from you? Yep. Like I said, he gave me five grand for Lily's paintings. If you want to know his reasons, you're going to have to ask the man himself. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. I can smell something cooking. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his, just like his sister. Nah, he's stuck in his own little world. Nathan, do you know who these people are? Um... No. I don't need to show that to him. I don't need to show that to him. I don't need to show that to him. 